Hi there technology user. Thank you for purchasing 3 note switch. Here is how you can install the device. First, let's make sure that you have everything you need to successfully complete the installation. Open the switchboard you want to automate. Identify the wiring inside the switchboard. Connect your device 16A HD module. Test the device to ensure that the setup is done correctly. Step 1 Get ready to install. Collect all the tools required for the installation. For this, you will need a screwdriver, tester and pliers. Now identify the switchboard you want to automate with the node switch. Also, make sure that you have a neutral wire inside the switchboard. A neutral connection is mandatory for the HD module. In the absence of the neutral wire, please draw a neutral wire from the nearest point, otherwise, the installation cannot be completed. Installation requires handling high voltage wiring. Follow the instructions carefully to avoid any injury. If it makes you uncomfortable, reach out to a qualified electrician to help you out. To start off with, go to your MCB panel, identify the circuit breaker connected to the identified switchboard and turn them off. If your breakers aren't labeled turn off the main supply. Now let's get to step 2. Open the switchboard. Now that your power is off, now you can safely unmount the wall plate from the switchboard. Then using a screwdriver open the switchboard. Alright. Now that the switchboard is open let's get to identifying all the wires in it. Phase wire is the red wire. It is connected to all the appliance switches in the switchboard. The neutral wire is the black wire. It is almost always black in color and is either connected to a socket or is left free with an insulation taping inside the switchboard. Load wire is usually blue or yellow and has connections to different loads. Green wire is the ground wire and is usually connected to a socket. Although, unavailability of ground wire will not impact the installation process. Now let's get to step 4 connecting the device. On the device, you can see the positions marked as P, N and the numbered slot 1, 2 and 3. P refers to the phase point. N refers to the neutral point 1, 2 and 3 is the load terminal where you will connect the load wires of the appliances. The virtual wire 1, 2 and 3 are the wires that will replace the load wires at the corresponding load pin inside the switchboard. Draw a phase wire and connect it to the slot marked as P on the device. Also, ensure that only one phase wire is connected to the device. Do not under any circumstance connect multiple phase wires from appliances and inverters to the device. Draw a neutral wire from the switchboard and connect it to the device where N is marked. Now, remove the load wires from the switches you want to automate and connect it at the numerical slot 1, 2 and 3 respectively on the 3 node switch module. Take the virtual wires 1, 2 and 3 of the device and connect it to the load pin of the respective appliance switch. Once you are done connecting all the wires, insert the three node switch inside the switchboard and reattach its wall plate firmly back onto the wall. Please note that electric fluctuations inside the switchboard may at times hinder optimal device performance. Great, we are almost done. Let's finish off the installation by testing the three node switch module. Switch on power. Toggle all the appliance switches on and off. Ensure that the appliance is functioning smoothly. And there you go. You are done with the installation of the node switch.
All you need to do now is download the automation app to configure the device and control your appliances from anywhere in the world.